Tonight, a suspect is behind bars after leading law enforcement on a car chase throughout parts of Vancouver and Camas. Our Elise Haas has more now after talking with the witnesses who helped this woman out of a terrifying ordeal. Elise? This is not a story that you hear every day. So luckily, this family in Camas listened to her and got this woman the help that she needed. Thought he was gonna kill me. So I jumped. In the wee hours of the morning this weekend, a family in Camas woke up to a woman in distress, yelling, trying to get inside their house. The woman came to the back door. She had told me that someone was trying to kill her and took her car and whatever else. I was like, okay. So I walked out to the end of the street with her to see if I could see, you know, anything. Um, and right then and there, the car that she had explained to me had turned the corner. Jamie Woods and his wife, Caitlin, were concerned and confused as they say the woman appeared to be intoxicated. But I still didn't really like know or understand that that was actually her car and that was the man that had kidnapped her. Jamie called for Clark County deputies. But the whole time that she was out front, um, I stayed behind the gate because 911 told me to stay in the house. But for the safety of my family and the safety of the woman I don't. Uh, and myself, bring you I wasn't going to go back inside and just ignore her uh, just in case the story was true. Deputies investigated and confirmed this woman was in her car early Saturday morning near Mill Plain and Grand Boulevard when a man asked her for water and the sheriff's office says that the woman let the man inside her car. Then he threatened her with a knife. Authorities say he drove her car to Northeast 28th Street and 223rd Avenue where she jumped out and got help from neighbors. Deputies spotted the suspect in her car and after a 10 minute car chase, deputies arrested him with the help of Vancouver police. Once they pinned the vehicle near Northeast 2nd and 115th. And although the, this man is in custody, the Clark County Sheriff's Office says that they're still trying to identify him because this man refuses to let them know what his name is. But he is facing several charges, including robbery, um, eluding, reckless driving, and kidnapping. He will be making his first court appearance tomorrow morning. Reporting live tonight, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News.